Last week in Massachusetts, Governor Charlie Baker announced that schools will remain closed through May 4th in response to the coronavirus pandemic. Families will now be spending six weeks or more at home with their children, which can make it even more difficult to find ideas to pass the time. Connecting Point's Ross Lipman spoke to three separate families, all involved in the education field, to hear their experiences thus far and what advice they have for this challenging time. As the sun rises in Wilbraham, services typically begin at Wilbraham United Church. And for the parents of children enrolled at the church's nursery school, so too does the start of classes. Neither are happening now. And after Governor Charlie Baker extended the closure of Massachusetts schools until at least May 4th, the nursery may have seen its last day under its current operations. So the United Church Preschool has been around for 69 years, and we have lost a lot of our um, enrollment. Erin um, Kiernan is one of the school's teachers, and next fall, after nearly seven decades, will be running a new school in the same building. A viable mission, which is understandable. So we're closing Wilbraham United Church Nursery School. And in its place, my colleague Deanna, Hannah, and I are opening Wilbraham Community Preschool. Until then, Kiernan, like most parents, has her hands full. What digit is in hundreds of ways number? With her four kids all at home. Oh my goodness. I have a 14 and a 13 year old boy in junior high. Uh, I have an 11 year old boy um, that's still at Sewell Road. And I have a second grade girl. So, as you can imagine, when I'm going to the grocery store, it looks like I'm hoarding, um, when in fact it's just a typical uh, shopping day for me. For the Kiernans, the days have been filled with schoolwork, home projects, and of course, a lot of time spent together. I'll be, uh, when I'm, I think I'll be done in a little bit. They're moments that Erin wouldn't normally get with the fast-paced life of her and her children. Enjoy the time you have with your family because Really, in all honesty, between sports and after school activities, um, I don't get a chance to relax. I have four kids in all different kinds of sports, and it's been kind of nice to just wake up at my own pace, have a cup of coffee, you know, get our work done, and enjoy one another. Parents of younger children may need to get more creative with activities for their kids. I would say probably my most popular book is this book right here where the mountain meets the moon. Children's book now, author and illustrator is Grace Lynn is here to help. All right, go to your U and I want you to make a short line down like that. With her series of go YouTube your, videos with here. drawn tutorials and readings from her many books. I do feel that stories are important and as a storyteller I do have something to offer to people at this time and, and I guess that's just really what I want to do is try to offer and help people at this time with what I can what I can offer. Lynn is also releasing a podcast three days a week called Kids Ask Authors with the help of her producing partner her seven-year-old daughter Hazel. I don't want to have her staring at the screen all day. Uh, whereas all these YouTube videos are great, and that's why I mean that's why I'm doing them. <laughs> but at the same time, I want to also give them some, give parents another option that's not staring at the screen, and that's why I felt it was really important to also offer this podcast. But sometimes there's puddles. A great source of entertainment for 20-month-old Shiloh Winston. He's at home in Hadley with both his parents, teachers Barty and Micah. Well, he's full of energy all the time, <laughs> unless he's asleep. Um, luckily, we have a huge yard, um, so he can go play in the puddles and play with sticks. You know, this time of life for a, a human, they're growing so much. And so every day we hear a new word. We wouldn't be able to enjoy that or as much or even notice it as much if he was still at daycare. Right now, have with us 24-7, and we're each like, oh my gosh, do you hear that word? Like, he just said water. <laughs> water. Yeah, there's the water. Plus, we don't need to explain to him what the problem is. Yeah, that's amazing. That is, that is, I'm so thankful that we do not have to explain anything to him. And though so young, there is a lot of wisdom and knowledge. Yeah, no water. Inside such a small person. He has learned one thing from this pandemic, which I'm very proud of. 
We walk into the house after a walk or playing outside, and he looks at me and he says, Wash hands?